Today we're going to learn how to use the distributive property to simplify expressions. We're going to do this by writing some expressions in expanded form and looking for a shortcut. So for example one, we're going to use the problem three times in parentheses four x plus five. We're going to start by writing this in expanded form. Expanded form just means that we're going to write out what this actually is saying. So this is saying 3 times 4x plus 5. So 3 and times is another way of saying groups of. So 3 groups of 4x plus 5. 3 groups of 4x plus 5 would look like this. 4x plus 5. Another 4x plus 5. And a third 4x plus 5. All right, now this expression doesn't look much simpler than this one up here, but we already know how to combine like terms, and I see there are multiple places with x's and multiple constants here. So we can go ahead and combine our like terms. There's a 4x, a 4x, and a 4x. All together, that makes 12x, and then I have a 5, a 5, and a 5, which makes a positive. 15. Now this is actually the simplified version of our starting expression. We did that by writing in expanded form and then combining our like terms. Now if you look at our beginning expression and our ending expression here, you might start to see that there's a little bit of a pattern. 3 times 4 is 12. And 3 times 5 is 15. So because this is actually multiplying, we wrote it out as a repeated addition here. Our shortcut tells us we can actually take 3 times 4 and 3 times 5 to jump to the end to get our final expression. So let's use this strategy in a second example where we have negatives. So here's our second example. We have negative 4 times 3x minus 5y plus 2. Now I could go ahead and write this out and have negative groups and the each group had 3x minus 5y plus 2, but that can get a little bit confusing. So we can actually just use our shortcut for the distributive property of multiplying each part to get our final expression. So if we do that, we're going to take a negative 4 times a 3. That would be negative 12, and then we need to bring down the x. We can then take negative 4 times negative 5, because there's a negative in front of our 5y. The negatives cancel out, and that would be plus 20 with a y. We also need to do this to our final term. Negative 4 times 2 would make a negative 8. And there we would have our simplified expression. Let's try one more example. For our third example, we have 7 times 5x squared minus 4x plus 9. We're going to use the distributive property to simplify this expression because we have parentheses. So we're going to start with 7 times 5, which is 35. And we're going to bring down our x squared. And we're going to take 7 times negative 4, which is negative 28 and we're going to bring down the x. And then we're going to take 7 times 9, which is a positive, 63. Sometimes it's a good idea to go back and check and make sure we can't combine any like terms here to make sure we're fully simplified. But I know that an x squared and an x are different terms and they cannot be combined together. So at this point, we do have our expression in simplest form. So to review for today, we learned how to use the distributive property, which says that we're going to multiply the outside number by every term in the parentheses. This means when I see one number and then a set of parentheses that has multiple terms inside of it, I can multiply that outside number by the coefficients of each term to simplify the expression.